Hello, my name is Mamata Tama and I am currently living in Sydney, Australia. I have been here for more than two years now. I came here to pursue my Masters of Information and Communication Technology. Um, and it went pretty well, actually, because I recently graduated. Very happy about that, you know. As we all know, technology is an evolving field. It evolves in a very high pace. And as being, being a part of this field, you have to keep up with the evolution or else you'll be left behind. And almost all the businesses are moving towards virtual networking and cloud solutions, which is creating like very high demand of information technology specialists and uh, the things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, as sophisticated as they sound, they have been creating high possibilities. And talking about ICT, it has changed the world, how like people leave, work, communicate, travel, etc. And this is one of the reasons why during the end of my bachelor's degree back home, I started getting more attracted towards these kinds of things. You know, machine learning, artificial intelligence, database, data analysis, everything. Then I started looking for colleges that provided me these kinds of courses. And I found one in my budget, <laughs> luckily. And I came to know that the courses were really good. It not only teaches the technical things, it also teaches like the communication factor as well. And but I personally think communication is very important, not only in personal life, but in professional life. As being a technical person, when you graduate and go out there, you should be able to communicate the technical things to a non-technical person. And I wanted to learn all these things. And um, that is the reason why I chose Masters of Information and Communication Technology. Honestly speaking, balancing uh, study and work anywhere far from your family is a very tough job. But especially speaking about Australia, since I'm here, um, like uh, most of the students they are under pressure because of their financial situations regarding their college fees because they cannot like depend on their family every single semester every single time that is the reason why they end up like um, prioritizing their work hours more than the study hours and it's not like back home where you have either parents or friends or family members you can rely on they can help you but it's a battlefield and you are on your own you are independent which is a good thing in a way but it's it's hard and it's not only the college fees that's hard that you have to consider there are other things like transportations accommodations and pretty much everything that's making things hard and and that is the reason why i mean a lot of students uh, are like depressed the range of job opportunities that this field provides is expanding and it's pretty good it's very good actually and i mean uh, it does not matter where you come from but you need to have the skills, you need to have the experience, then you are hired anywhere in the world and you'll be able to survive, otherwise it's a tough luck. And you can work either as database or system administrator, uh, business or system analyst or data scientist. To all the people who want to come to Australia, I would say you're welcome and it's a very beautiful country. Uh, yes, you can study here, work here, have a family here, like make a career here. But if you have some, if you are already involved in something important back home, then it's better. I would say it's better that you continue that thing in Nepal itself. Uh, but if you have to come to Australia for any other regions, then you also have to know that it's not only about the beautiful beaches and beautiful lifestyles that you see on your friends' social media. It's more, much more than that. You have to prepare yourself before coming here. You need to have a very strong mind. You have to, uh, like, I personally think you have to study on your communication skills before coming here so that you are able to communicate with anyone and you are able to tackle any kinds of problems. Speaking about Australia and me, this is a very beautiful country, I must say. And Australia has been treating me pretty well since my arrival here. 
just uh, the first few weeks were a little rough, which is, um, I mean, which is obvious for newcomers because I had no idea how the things used to work. But after a few weeks, it was pretty easy. It was, it just went with the flow. And then I started getting used to my colleges, getting used to my work. Um, I worked in a customer service where I got to communicate or with a lot of different people every single day from different countries and I used to feel very happy about it. I used to love my work. I still love it. Yes, my study went smoothly and even though the COVID thing, uh, I got to finish my master's degree which I am very happy about. And I love the fact how independent this country made me, how beautiful this country is and how happily I am living my life in Australia.